This is more of an update video of the core samples that were in another article. That article appears to have hijacked the uh, core samples and passed it off. They, they, you see them in one of my videos on top of each other. This one and uh, one more sample. I recall the numbering here and the shape like this. The uh, I don't see the other sample here. It was two 13-inch samples. Uh, perhaps Nevertheless, they hijacked the uh, the core samples and put it out in a different article. Pretty, I think it was this one. That's pretty nasty. I'm going to link you guys to this location, and it's going to be pretty simple. This is in front of the uh, the room, the 111 room. There's a core sample that was taken, and this concrete looks pretty fractured right out here in this deck. But the core was done, and I talked about that core sample. It's fractured, so the deck is fractured at uh, at these two locations and possibly I when I talked about there's some uh, this would identify the overlay of materials also uh, obviously not the sand overlay because it's uh, not there this core sample being taken from here is really fractured one two three four I mean this deck has got a lot of um, hmm it's got multiple fractures so normally you get shear planes uh, to do this like plywood I this is this is very interesting that um, this looks like that but remember there's also a cover that was added perhaps that's the cover there at the top of the, the lower part of the deck which would have to be barred the upper part of the deck upper part at that location which would be hmm and go across the, if it went across this beam that, that would be part of the that would be almost fair game for, you know, part of that re reinforcement for the um, shear, shear protection, punk shear protection, being it's in the upper part. The, but the cracks here, and this looks, you know, if they didn't, it looks like they didn't rinse it off, but I'm guessing they did, but this it looks like different concrete. Um, the core samples. It's, 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 it's killing me here. Uh, this mix up here looks more more of a fine stone. And here's your larger aggregate. This aggregate looks like about the same as this one and this. So this section here. But then this looks like a different ag aggregate. And this looks like a different aggregate. I'm going to give you the links to this. And you guys could, I'll put it in the comments. You can beat this up if you want. Look at the different locations. Some of it are just uh, like the going into the ceiling is, is uh, not that much. Hey, you guys in the garage video, nobody caught the camera yet. I was waiting for somebody to say, did you see the camera there? Bottom of the ramp, straight ahead, camera to your right, uh, in, points inside the garage. Recall now in 2002, they did a lot of deck repair. Um, I saw comments or so you guys sent me links and I looked at it. The guy said that uh, each try to call the concrete a, I don't like the term cancer, um, he called the concrete a cancer. And, and it's probably more contrary to that would be that uh, the rebar is the cancer in the concrete. It's the one that will expand uh, with, with air getting to it, with uh, um, it's how its properties are made up. Because remember, all elements want to get go back to the original form. Well, the stone's already at its original form, and the the, con the steel is what's what it was reacting with the concrete around it, the paste. Oh, there's, my, there's Georgie. Looks like he ate too much grass. Georgie, you finished with that? All right, clean it up. He just put a nice little grass stream out there. That's Georgie. That's his cameo, if you heard in the background. Him throwing up. Thanks, George. Um, so what you have here is either rust jacking, um, rust jacking, rust jacking, so I hope this doesn't bring up uh, porn, rust jacking, um, oxide jacking Wikipedia, let's just go to there. So rust jacking is a common term for it, damage, um, hmm. let's go back. Do that again. Rust burst, oxide jacking, 
rush jacking is how I like to think of it because it's very clear for everyone to understand. If I say oxide jacking, you might not get it. Um, but let's grab some, oh, around windowsills. You see it a lot. When it gets there, it will expand, and you'll see your windowsills with the cracks by the windowsills. Um, there is uh, this guy trying to do a practical engineering guy trying to do his best, but uh, I don't think he nails it as good as um, the real world. Uh, so there, there are some there, that metal expansion, what I was talking about. So metal, the, depending on the metal, uh, how it's composed, how pure it is, the nobility of metal. So the nobility, no, noble nobility of uh, metals. So let's try um, um, noble metal science direct. Let's see if they got a scale here. Now, no, let's back out. We're going, I want to find it, the, uh, um, I want to give you a better source than this. And that would be NASA. I did a video on this some time ago. Um, So I want to show you how simple this is. Uh, engineering noble metals. Uh, da, 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 da. All right. So let's just do this. Oh, let's see if it's here. So the just think of it as a, a scale up here, and as you go down, the less noble something is, the less. Uh, so so aluminum is inside your water heater. Those are aluminum uh, rods that are in there. They're sacrificial to the electrolysis that goes on the, of the metal tank. Um, the water, the electricity in there, the rods that are in there creating electricity in the electric water heater. The scale is up here, gold being one of the purest, and down here being aluminum. The further you're apart from each other in that scale, even in different metals, the more reaction will happen. So you will get, um, the closer they are, the slower the reaction is. It's still happening, but the slower the reaction. Now, steel is not made of a, a pure, so there is no pure metal. It's, com, it's a compound element. It's multiple elements put together. And depending on how you, uh, how, uh, you know, the testing and how it's, it's put together, how long it will last. This metal here, I don't know what it is. If you can take it apart and figure out what's going on, you'll see why it wants to burst or separate from each other, creating a... Um, uh, rust jacking, oxygen jacking, as it's called. I like to call it rust jacking because that's what it appears like, presents as. Oxygen jacking sounds like you almost have to have oxygen present to make this happen. And yet we clearly see in, in, in 5,000 PSI concrete, which is pretty much waterproof, we see um, expansion of rebar. So how did that happen? You know, you, it's get, obviously getting some moisture, something inside there, but you have a moisture field of protection there. So I, I theorize it's just the metal itself reacting upon itself in its mixed content and just bursting. Um, it's literally just bursting, and this concrete is what they say spalled away, making it seem like this concrete just failed on its own. The concrete did not spall away on its own. It had something to help it spall, either a deflection, which I don't think is present here, no crack windows, etc. I that this appears to be the, the uh, steel itself deteriorating. This is an overhang, so you'd have what water coming down, wicking through there. As people try to tell you that it's the top side wicking through, well, we don't know that to explore around here to see um, how much this goes up to the top. So you would you'd have to go all, support this and go all the way through to investigate it properly although it is at an overhang um, and the cover is very minimum but now it's paste over top of that so uh, the report is here I'll give it to you you can see the location of their sampling um, they did extra sample locations uh, a couple of them are kind of confusing on the location I think now might be a good time for me to go to the um, there's a the video I did showing that other building. Somebody gave me the link showing the three buildings. I like that link. Um, the, is it north, south, west, east? I don't know. 
look, the, the point is, I don't really care. The, the, the buildings are about similar to each other. So sometimes the interaction of the plans they put there, uh, Surfside put there. So don't, don't cry to me if I'm pointing out something in the plans that Surfside published as being part of this building's design. So what? It says another building. What do I throw it out just because it, it, it's, you see the other buildings labeled on there? Surfside put it out as these are the building plans for this. So you don't ignore that. If you look at my videos before this collapse, you see there's often conflicts in drawings on the same building from one page to another page. Uh, like, for example, right now I'm dealing with a project that the bathroom, the plumber followed the drawings for the plumbing. The detail in the architectural side, though, shows the sink detail to be to the right by about three feet, uh, correction, to the left about three feet. He followed a plumbing detail, it's, it moved it over to the right in three feet. So the conflicts in drawings often happen, and they got to be resolved by figuring out what's best for the owner and if it can be done, and then approval by the municipality ultimately that will say, yeah, that's acceptable still. Um, but with the conflict there, uh, it's got to be resolved. Here, they're not resolving the conflicts. They're just publishing them and saying, ah, here are the plans. And, uh, you know, I don't know where they're resolved. I don't know where they were ultimately resolved when you see conflicts like that. Don't get upset. You can troll me all you want. Just hit my PayPal account, though, when you're trolling me. Oh, forget that. Um, I really thank a couple of viewers. Uh, someone just sent me a nice $50 bill. I really appreciate that. That's going to go towards, I think I'm going to finally get the uh, software, probably go down the uh, open source software, but with a better computer. So your money's not being wasted. It will help me do the rendering for you. I'm probably going to use Blender, which is going to probably cost me three three months of my life to uh, to work on using Blender to work out um, because it does some of the best rendering. Um, all right. So here are your samples. You can see this is an apartment building that did not collapse. This sample came. Oh wait a minute. Where's this? Where's the sample? Right, so this sample came over here, uh, note 6 and 8, okay, note 6 and 8, so then we would go to note 6 and 8, 6 and 8, um, and 6 says, stamp concrete layer, blah, 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 so, I, uh, that, that's in a part that didn't fail, so we would want to look into the deck samples, which would be here, Specifically over here, we would like to see, but he didn't. He didn't play there. Um, this is note five and six, five and eight. Sorry, I had LASIK done, and my vision's getting about blurry again. I gotta rest sometimes. Sometimes I have to rest just my eyes to to uh, so they stay focused. Um, five. Okay, so the same thing. The three by three area should be down to the top right. So there's his one of the three by three test areas. Uh, he wanted to see the, the. He wanted to look inside there. The engineers did, uh, the firm I would say. All right. So I'm just giving you that, and you can see. Okay, there's your notes there. One and a quarter inch uh, sand and paver. Um, perhaps that's this section. Um, one eighth inch thick waterproofing, which would be right about there. One and three eighths inch tile and mortar layer, huh? It says or uh, does that say skip the mortar topping? Docu, nah. not gonna try to interpret that. Two and one eighths inch uh, topping sand, nine point five inches of a uh, thick structure slab, nine and a half inches of a uh, thick structural slab right here. Remember, they were going to do a lot of work there. Nine and a half inches. Nine, point, nine and a half inches. So nine and a half. So let's just do round up. So all right, so 9.5 inches. 9.5 inches? Okay, almost nine and a half inches. So let's throw that down and call it nine and a half, in, nine and a half inches. 9.5 inches. So... This thread didn't call it five eighths then. So that, that's 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 weird. He's mixing eighths and inches and, and uh, tenths together. 
So this should be, uh, yeah, so uh, 5 eighths. So 9 and 5 eighths, 11 and 5 eighths, um, 12 and 5 eighths, 13 and 5 eighths, 13 and 3 quarter, and then we have plus or minus an eighth. Um, or so it's not quite adding up to his length. That looks like 13 and less than 13 and 3 quarter. But you get the intent of it. Uh, so we have a seriously thick slab there that's that he sampled from, mm. and he just sampled in the, in the single sample there. Why there? Okay, take care, guys, uh, and hopefully it helps. Oh, please uh, help with the algorithm by commenting, and uh, all trolls, please hit the PayPal link. Oh, I and mean, seriously, everybody who sent me money, that it's not going to waste you. I will spend three months of my life probably doing Blender. It's going to do the best rendering, although I like old school, hard, hard, hard uh, um, reaction materials to help you see the deflection better like my drawing with my uh, detail I showed with my feet so you can see it raising up um, with my shambles on hmm all right what else can I say um, mm -hmm. it's not much out there what else can I say the uh, oh that's what it was he gave multiple uh, on, in this document he gave multiple ways to do the repair this is just shared by, uh, created by, contributed by Tanya Ballard Brown, NPR. I guess I don't know what NPR stands for, if that's true or not. There's an inspection hole. Should be a permanent hole to be able to view underneath of there. This did not fail, so so what? It's 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 interesting. It's a concrete layer. Um, a concrete layer. You see the size of the aggregate over plywood. So they stapled um, some wire mesh and. Maybe gunited it on there, sprayed it on there, and did that. Oh, there's the uh, there's the close-up samples of it, and these were uh, oh October 30th, 2020. Yeah, so these these were some time ago. October 30th, 2020. I don't know. Did I get that right in the other thing? I'm starting to wonder if I if I did call it out correctly. Uh, uh, column repair. And then paint it. Obviously, had some rust detail there, and possibly even add it. It does look like it might have been added uh, um, a pad, structural pad for it. This is this is at the pool loose ball at the pool corval area. That's that little cover there. This is an interesting photo to talk about. Why I have you guys. Um, this looks like a, a lot like a repair because this concrete and this concrete do not look similar. So this looks like they might have. You know, put some wood up there and then pour it in their own mix to try to bond there with a kind of sorry ass, if you will. And it just broke free as soon as that rusted a little bit more. This doesn't look painted. It doesn't look prepped. But it does look like different materials. In other words, the concrete would look the same. And this does not look the same. So this is like, the, and I'm, yeah, I can't find out here like a line uh, where, where it would have been done. Um, but it looks like something just... I did just fell off this uh, patchwork. With that said, this image is not the clearest image, but never I, I still stick with this concrete color being different than that. And you're not going to get that. And you can use a vibrator and everything else. You're going to get stone that um, will fall to the bottom. Your pace will rise to the top. I don't see that here. Um, you've got some spalling here, but this is uh, this is inside that room, right? With the, all the chemicals. Uh, so I don't, you know, I'm not crying about that. It's inside this room with all the chemicals. Or right, this is a better detail of it. Again, exposed to chemicals. These are stirrups here, and it's in cross steel. Main bars. Prime. Okay, there's some electric that might have been there. All right, so that, that's, uh, little TV form work. Okay, so that's a punk. That's the drain. Maybe that drained this up top of the pool, pool. why would it, it's going through there I don't know if the street elevation allows for that this is a uh, uh, maybe a, a, a paint coating over top of it and now we're down to the, the the chemicals I think did most of this the way this looks the way this looks 
Mm -hmm. So it's still together. I'm look. I don't see the deflection. Pool corbel wall repairs. All right. And what else we have? The pricing. I'll uh, I'll bounce you this link. Uh, Champlain Tower South. Huh. Champlain Tower South. I get these towers mixed up. But still get them mixed up. South and North. And there's one more, right? There's three towers. Food board meeting, 9-15, September 15-20. Approval board meeting. Um, okay. Uh, swing deck, accounting, uh, maintenance, uh, special report, housekeeping, hallway air conditioning, 40-year report. Right there is where they have to deal with it. Uh, they're talking about the 63 balconies. Uh, balconies again so that was from 2002 and they're back at the balconies again uh, suggest no waterproofing was installed on that for about the uh, pool deck area is located just under the sand bed of the pavers survey property survey is 95% complete there's some outstanding questions that need to be answered um, uh, hallway project no movement hmm no movement as in no whatever hallway they haven't gone forward with anything i think that mean that by that coronavirus one staff member still out pending double negative test one thousand to fix uh, the access control of the door all right so there is one good video i don't have it now but I, i'm not sure where it goes i'm not sure if that's true in that building or not it might be the other tower. I think the guy, it's just, it's in Spanish. And someone sent me the link, thank you. But it looks like these jumping buildings, and I hate getting duped into the uh, jump building thing where they switch around and next thing I'm looking at the wrong building. I've already got duped on that once before. So I think I'll pass on it this time. And just say, take care, guys. See you in the next video. Thanks for commenting for the algorithm.